Look at that, a fashion show like no other. These models live with autism, and there they are walking the runway as we mark World Autism Acceptance Day. And we're so pleased to welcome celebrity fashion designer Ali Belay and Kirolos Megarius. He's the assistant principal of the Brooklyn School for Career Development at Averon Academy. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Absolutely, and I want to start with you, Mr. Megarius, because your school does magic for young people Thank with you. developmental, neurodevelopmental disabilities, and the autism program is second to none. So tell us about it. Um, Averon Academy is a school that works under the Brooklyn School for Career Development, mm -hmm. which is a District 75 school. Um, we serve about over 400 students, all students with individualized education programs. And we have about seven buildings across the borough of Brooklyn, and we're actually opening up another brand new program in Brooklyn, co-located at Tilden High School. Wow. And within our program, we serve, um, of course, as you said, students with uh, disabilities and a big population in our school is students with autism. So um, it is a District 75 school and the vision of District 75 is creating a world of opportunities specifically for students with disabilities. So, you know, we really hold that vision near and dear within our organization. And that is where the name Averon Academy mm -hmm. came from. So when we were opening up the program for students with autism, um, our principal, you know, held that vision. Dr. Eve Rose Pierre is our principal. And, you know, she kept that vision to heart when she was coming up with the name of our school. And the school, that's where the name Averon came from. That's where it comes from. And yes. one of the opportunities is partnering with this celebrity designer that yes. we're so fortunate to have with us today. You. And you have been just so generous with your time and talents, helping um, young people with autism and showing them how to model. We wish, <laughs> and we have some of them in our studio today, which yes. is, yes. we are so blessed to have them here. Thank so you. tell us, why are you doing this? Well, you know, I have eight kids. <laughs> I love kids. I love to always give the helping hand. I'm always there for the children. Um, when I heard about the school and what the school does to the children, I mean, we do have a background of autism in the family and I wanted, I actually reached out to them and I said, let's uh, help these kids and let's uh, give them the no normality of life. Mm -hmm. Let them feel that they are just like everyone else because as you know, in school with the bullying mm -hmm. and uh, the, 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 if, the, if, if that kid uh, is not 100% like us, he's going to feel left out. Absolutely. He's going to have that... that uh, Isolation. Exactly. Yeah. The, 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 the self-confidence, right. all that. But when they come to us and we bring them uh, into our fashion show and mm -hmm. they actually walk the runway, they kind of... Their, their confidence will start going higher and higher and i love that i mean that's that's the least that i can do for these yeah, children and so here they are in our studio yes, yes. putting their best face forward <laughs> mr Magarios, talk to us about the reaction of the young people who are modeling so the reaction is you know it's it, it was a priceless reaction yeah. you know it was an, an experience like no other for them and it meant so much to them um, you know, and it aligns to exactly to what Mr. Ellie was talking about and, you know, boosting the self-esteem of our students and letting them know that, you know, these experiences are not far from them um, at all. And he made that experience a reality for them and being able to let them participate in the New York Fashion Week, um, being able to run that runway and, you know, letting them know, like, you know, they are just like everyone else and they are, they are models and superstars. And supermodels, yeah, might absolutely. I add, as we look at <laughs> yes. them in our studio. So I tell agree. us what they're wearing. You designed these outfits specifically for them. So I have, uh, for the girl, I have one look, which is a jeans look. Um, I personally started that design approximately about four years ago. I was uh, one of the first designer to take the jean jacket and add all the bling and all the love to it. I, if, if you see on the back of the jean, it says love. Mm. Um, I, I mean, that jacket, I've done a few of them, a few different styles, but that jacket is, is like magnificent. It's like you can wear it to an evening party or you can wear it like on a daily basis. Um, the other jacket for the girl, um, 
She's like a flower girl. Exactly. So <laughs> that, that, I mean, uh, when the pandemic hit, yeah. I was very depressed in a way. Everything kind of about to collapse in my, in my work uh, realm. And I needed something to bring me back to get me on my feet again because my whole business shut down. I could have lost everything. I mean, I have eight kids. My kids in private schools and I pay an arm and a leg. My question here is how do I move from point A to point B? I went walking down near my office on Herald Square. It was a haunted house. Mm. I came I, and I saw a person holding flowers. I says, there you go. This is it. I actually handmade the flower myself and I put it on the jacket. It took me approximately three months wow. sitting home, eating and doing these jackets. And I tell you, it was a hit. The, 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 the blazers are absolutely fabulous. They really are. Yeah. And Mr. McGarrius, I want to yes. end with you. You know, a new report out by the CDC mm -hmm. shows that autism rates <sighs> continue to climb, yes. especially among children of color. Are you seeing that reflected in your school? Yeah, we do see that reflected in our school, and that's actually why we're opening up another new program this uh, this year because we want to continue to expand, and you know, make sure all students in all areas have access to a free and appropriate education and all these opportunities that are offered to them in the community. And that's why community engagement and partnering with people like Mr. L is very important to us to make sure that we constantly offer these opportunities for our students and making them a part of a community and a big part. Part of our work is, you know, giving our students access to the community and when we bring them into the community, we're also educating the community as well as to how, um, you know, we, we work with other people that some people might have additional needs than we do and how we can also continue to welcome them into the community and give them these opportunities. Well, it was a pleasure to welcome you all into Thank our you. newsroom, including our fabulous <laughs> models, celebrity designer Ali Belay and of the Averon Academy, Mr. McGarrius. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank it was you. a pleasure to Thank be you. here. Thank you. The pleasure was all ours. When we come back, our final focus.